Okay, seriously, September is a bad month for me. Everyone knows this by now, right? It's my busiest time of the year for my work. I don't have time to do videos. I barely had time to set my line up. Okay, that's a lie. I'll make time for that. But I'm back maybe every other week for a little while longer. But video number one, is this number one? Is this my first one? I think this is my first video. We'll call it the quarter, the first quarter video. How about that? So, let's start. I mean, I got to backtrack because I haven't even looked at records in a long time. Holy cow, my division, the Sweaty Balls, or Sweaty Rolls, Sweaty Rolls, which sucks because he sucks. He's not even playing. I'm 3-2, and two, tied for first with Minivan Madness at 3-2. and two. Big Red, 2-3. and three. Biscuit Butt, 1-4. and four. <laughs> Next division, wow, same thing almost. Pink Taco, 3-2. and two. Cardiac Kids, 2-3. and three. The Donkey and Devils in the back, 1-4. and four. And the only undefeated team left, I think in my whole, all four of my leagues, Hawkeyes, 5-0. and oh. Mile High, whoop. Mile high, second place, three and two. Capitalist pigs, what? Second place, three and two. And stay thirsty, my friends, what? Three and two. Holy cow, that division is tough. And then the Pickums. After four weeks of the Pickums, the two Colorado boys are neck and neck for the top spot. Mile high, Sasquatches are the leader at 38. Will he hold on or will he squander his lead? Probably squander it, yeah. The Donkey at 36. And Hawkeyes and Devils at 34. And then ever, everyone else falling behind. Now, our King of the Mountain currently. Who is our King of the Mountain? Our current King of the Mountain is Pink Taco with a 205.25 point score. I don't think... I don't think anyone got that last week. Because last week sucked. Last week was really a bad week. I've had a lot of bad weeks. I can't I can't say much about it. We I mean, look at let's see, Biscuit Butt. Oh man, you had a decent game, Archie. 141 points in a game where a lot of people I feel like I got dog hair all in my mouth. It's I, it is. There it is, right there. I got it. Cardiac Kids, 163. He beat the Pink Taco. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Because you have Odell Beckham with his 48. Or not Odell. <laughs> Why would I say Odell? He sucks. Uh, Julio Jones with his 48-point score. Matt Jones finally showed up with a 27-point score. But, yeah, Golden Tate. Oh, man. Who is this? The Donkey could, oh, that reminds me. Big Red. I haven't had a chance to mention this. But I remember Big Red. Wow. What did you score? Like 47 points? 57 points? I don't even remember which. week or two weeks ago. I don't think I've ever seen a score that low before. Until now. But the Donkey. 93 points. Don't think you're going to win. No. Hawkeyes. Hawkeyes is 5-0, and and he only scored 114 points. He happened to play against Stay Thirsty, and he only got 79. 79 points, minus 6 points from your Chiefs defense. Ouch. I know a guy that had the Kansas City Chiefs defense, and I still won. Oh, wait, that's me, and I still won. Capitalist Pigs had 153 points. Could have beat everyone almost in the league, except Mile High, who had 181. That sucks. And Big Red, thank you for sucking this week. So I scored a mm, average 134 and was good enough to beat your sorry butt. There are four weeks left of the Pickums, four weeks left of King of the Mountain, who will stay on top. The Chiefs are really irritating. And I don't know, what's what's more irritating? The Chiefs, with how boring their gameplay has been, not opening up the field, just doing this little five-yard screen pass crap, and their defense is getting burned. Or the Broncos, who are undefeated, 
with an offense that's – I mean, I guess I saw it coming. I just thought their defense was going to be a little worse than last year. I guess not. I mean, I thought – I thought, you know, okay – Peyton Manning sucked. They went to the Super Bowl. The defense is what got them there. Their defense is not as good, so their defense isn't going to be able to win all these games. But they are, again. And now, this quarterbacks that they got, I don't know what the co- coaches are doing, but they're winning. And I hate this. I hate it. So, I don't know which is worse. Let's look at some rosters here. Because there's been some crazy... I mean, this... I swear, every year injuries are good. I think injuries suck. And I think the owners or the GMs, I have no problems. Just, oh, you got a you got a bruise on your thigh? Well, you hang in there. Right now, we're going to put you on the IR, okay? You can be back in about 8 to 10 weeks. But you rest that thigh, and you'll be ready to go in 8 to 10 weeks. So we're going to put you on the IR. Everyone's on the IR. It's ridiculous. So ridiculous. I mean, I don't even think my guy's on the IR. Uh, Thomas Rawls, he's not on the IR, I don't think. He's just out. Dante Moncrief, just out. Carson Palmer, just out. I mean, I've had, and I lost Kevin White. My whole team is just in disarray, and I don't, I'm just trying to hold on. Um, I don't know what else to talk about, really. I mean, it's been such a boring year. I mean, the Odell Beckham thing. Odell just sucks. Oh, there's been a couple of trades. Let's see if I can find a couple of the trades that we I've seen happen. Let's see. Hawkeye and the Donkey. Gave LeGarrette Blunt and Kenneth Dixon for Andre Ellington and Devontae Freeman. Hmm, I guess, whatever. Devontae has not been all, all that this year. What's another one? Oh, did you do... Oh, no, that's revoked. I don't know. I'm kind of tired. It's been this whole month has worn me out, and now baseball season's over. You know, no more Royals. The Chiefs are sucking. There's not much to cheer for. I am in first place, but I want to win this this uh, King of the Mountain. But with my team, that ain't gonna happen. No, not gonna happen. This week, who do I play? Cardiac Kids play Stay Thirsty. Let's do that. Let's go through and do my predictions. Projected scores. Here we go. Cardiac Kids versus Stay Thirsty. What do we have? We got Derek Carr, Carlos Hyde, Charles Sims. Might not play. Odell Beckham. Could have a good game. You know, well, first, Teddy, you need to uh, change a quarterback. Um, wow, who who is your quarterback? They're both on a bye. <laughs> um, might want to look into dropping somebody on your team and picking up a quarterback, maybe. Until then, I have to say Stay Thirsty is going to win. If you get a quarterback, though, that'll be a really tough game, and you have a chance to beat them. Hawkeyes versus Pink Taco. That's a great game. Stafford just coming off a bad game. Giovanni Bernard, Lamar Miller, Lorenzo Cobra, <laughs> Dak Prescott, Devontae Freeman, David Johnson, LaShawn McCoy, Michael Crabtree, Jarvis Landry. If, if Rob Gronkowski plays, I will give Hawkeyes the W. If, if, if Gronkowski does not play, nah, we'll lean more towards Pink Tuck. Capitalist Pigs and Minivan Madness. This thing has you guys basically a tie. Phillip Rivers, Orleans Darkwood, Aaron Sproles, Antonio Brown, Steve Smith, Demarius Thomas. I don't like that. Joe Flacco, Matt Forte, Frank Gore, Jordan Howard, Stefan Diggs. I give Capitalist Pigs the easy win. I'm just saying. Capitalist Pigs should win. Biscuit Butt, are you going to change the lineup? Because everyone's on a bye this week. So even if you change the lineup, your team's going to suck. So Mile High Sasquatch is... Easy win, lock of the week. There you go, Derek. You're going to get the easy lock of the week win. Usually you're on the other side of that, but not anymore. Big Red versus the Donkey. Will Big Red redeem himself after miserable weeks? Not when you play two of the same team running backs. 
you know, but but he the donkey doesn't have much going for him either, really, right? I'm still going to give the donkey the edge here. I think we're going to have a Colorado sweep. Sweaty Rawls versus the Devils. Ugh. Andrew Luck, Melvin Gordon, Jarek McKinnon, all Sean Jeffries, Brandon Marshall. I'm going to say, here's what I'm going to say. I really want me to win. I just don't feel it, though. My team just, it just doesn't look as good as his. I'm going to have to say that the Devils is going to beat me. <laughs> that sucks. As long as Minivan Madness will lose. Where's his team at? Did I already do his? Yeah, Capitalist Pigs. All right, so that's what I got. Um, season's been all right. I mean, it hadn't been great, but whatever. I really don't have a blank on what to say because I've missed... I haven't really paid much attention to uh, fantasy, just my team, because I've been so busy. Uh, sorry, guys. That's how pathetic your week, quarter, four, whatever you want to call it, first video of the year looks like. Pretty bad. Hopefully, it'll get better from here. But for now, that was pretty bad. Yeah. So, I heard the Travis Kelsey TV show sucks. Just saying. I don't even know if it'll make it. All right. That's all. I can't. I really can't think of anything else. All right. That's it. Bye. Bye.